We are looking at Isaiah 14 now, and on one hand, we'd say, look, the focus is clearly on Babylon, the judgment of God uh, on Babylon, and, and in particular against the king of Babylon. But then we begin to think, wait, is something more being spoken of here, something that's more worldwide or even about Satan and his fall out of the heavenly heights? Let's take a look at it. So we begin with something that seems clearly Babylon. It says, the Lord will have compassion on Jacob, Israel, and will again choose Israel. And they'll be able to take up a taunt against the king of Babylon. So here was this powerful king of Babylon, looking into the future for Isaiah, powerful king of Babylon. And Israel begins to taunt him, how the oppressor has ceased. So somehow Babylon's going to be out. The king of Babylon is going to be judged. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. This, this was one who ruled the nations in anger with unrelenting persecution. But now the whole earth is at rest and quiet and they break forth into singing. They're celebrating what? They're celebrating that this dismal imperial power has been stopped. And what's happening now is that the land of the dead is waiting for the king of Babylon. It says, Sheol rouses the shades to greet you, all who were leaders of the earth. You know, because there were other people before Babylon, before Assyria, and going back for generations past and into the generations of the future. But what happens here is those that have already, you know, died and are gone, they're, they're greeting Babylon and the king of Babylon as as the powers of Babylon join their ranks in the land of the dead, all who were leaders of the earth, it, it raises from their thrones all who were kings of the nations. And what is it? What, what do these people say? You too have become as weak as we. You have become like us. Your pomp is brought down to Sheol. Now that's where we have this shift then, which seems to be talking about something more cosmic, something having to do with the powers and principalities that are above the rulers of the earth. And here's what it says, beginning at verse 12 of chapter 14. How far, how you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of the dawn, son of dawn. How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. This day star, son of dawn, says... You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. Now, that could be the king of Babylon, but it also could be some satanic reference here. He's going up to ascend to the heavens. Above the stars of God, I will set my throne on high. I will set on, sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north. Well, that's what you thought you would do. I'll ascend above the heights of the clouds. I'll make myself like the most high. See, this proud Satan but you are brought down to Sheol to the far reaches of the pit. So we seem to have in view the devil and all those that are in league with him and those powers that also assume that they could be like God. And then it returns away from Satan back to what seems to be some ruling man. It says, is this the man who made the earth tremble? Who shook kingdoms? who made the world like a like a desert and overthrew its cities who 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 did not let his prisoners go home but all the kingdom kings of the nations lie in glory each in his own tomb now you're with them right clothed with the slain those those pierced by the sword who go down to the stones of the pit see and that's that's how low it is now then it says I will rise up against them, declares the Lord of hosts. Against whom? Well, against the Babylonians, against the ruler of the Babylonians, against others that would presume to be exalted high above God. And I will cut off from Babylon name and remnant, descendants and posterity, declares 
the Lord, right? And and yet, then again, it says this is concerning the whole earth. And it's not just Babylon. It talks about um, the Assyrian as well and the nations as a whole, right? So the Lord, we conclude at the end of this chapter, has founded Zion, his special people Israel, and in her the afflicted of his people find refuge. So you have the people of God who take refuge in this Zion, and then you have these imperial powers that get put in their place. Lord, how we thank you that we have hope in you and in your son, Jesus Christ. He will defeat the, the most proud and arrogant adversaries, and we will find all of our safety in him. We're grateful for this prophecy. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings, friends.